Some people claim they make tens of thousands of dollars per week in passive income. Is that true? I don't know, but it does seem a little bit overstated sometimes. So today I want to share with you and show you exactly six passive income streams that you can start very easily that are accessible to everyone. And while you shouldn't expect to make hundreds of thousands of dollars overnight, you can definitely use to make a few hundreds or sometimes thousands of dollars per month passively when you do things right. And before I go into explaining what I believe differentiates the people who are actually successful with passive income and the people who are just dreaming about it, let me ask you a question. How many times have you thought about starting a passive income stream? Probably more than once, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't have clicked on this video. But how many times have you actually done something about it? Probably fewer than that, right? And this is very important because many times people misunderstand the concept of passive income. They think that they just opt in on a website or they just sign up for something and then money starts flowing in. And that's not realistic. Passive income could very easily be the most misunderstood concept when it comes to making money. Because the truth is that in order to start making passive income, people need to be willing to put either their time, their money, or their skills to the table to work. So if you're not willing to put your skills or your money to work, then you have to put some time into setting things up. Because passive income works basically like growing a garden. You need to plant the seed and you need to nurture it in order for the seed to start growing and bear fruit. So if you're looking for the fruit, then you need to be willing to put in some time and effort in order to set things up so you can be successful later on. And in this video, my plan is to give you enough tricks, tools, and information to help you slash that time in half or more so that you can start making money faster. So the first idea that I want to share with you is a very, very interesting one that's very close to my heart. Because look, everybody uses spreadsheets for different tasks, but not everybody really knows how to create one. So if you are good at this, or at least willing to learn how to do that, then there are thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people willing to pay you for that skill. Because let's be honest, more than a billion people worldwide use Google Sheets, and another billion people use Microsoft Excel, which means that there is a huge target audience, a huge market that is literally waiting for a service or a product like this. They are ready to buy your spreadsheets or your template because most of them probably use spreadsheets for something in their life, whether that's keeping track of budgets or managing expenses. Maybe they have a small business and they use that for bookkeeping or project management or goal tracking, sometimes for personal finance tracking. There are so many possibilities of using Excel spreadsheets for many, many things in one's life or in one's business. So first of all, think about this. Do you have the skill to create something like this? If you don't, then I've created a video a while back where I go into all the details related to where you can learn how to create these spreadsheets. So I'm going to make sure to link that down below. Once you have the skill, then what you need to do is figure out what kind of scenario do you want to address? What problem are you solving for your client? Are you going to build the best budget tracker out there? Do you want to build the best business expense tracker? Maybe you want to build the most beautiful goal tracker. Whatever it is, put your time and effort into creating something outstanding. And once you've developed a dynamic template that can help people achieve a result, then you can post that on platforms like Graphic River or Etsy and start selling. And now you're probably thinking, okay, but those cost like $3 a piece, so how am I going to make hundreds or thousands a month? Well, the way this works is you would create several templates, not just one. And this way you are able to solve more problems or be able to create bundles so you can sell more expensive packages. Once you're able to have a broader variety of offerings, then you can expect to make more. And if you are able to sell a few of each per day, then at the end of the month, you can probably look at $300 to $800 in your bank account only from these templates. But there are three things that, in my opinion, separate an ordinary spreadsheet from one that is actually successful and has potential to become a bestseller. Number one, your spreadsheet needs to be unique. Number two, it needs to provide a solution for a problem or help someone do something easier, better, or faster. And number three, your spreadsheet needs to be clear, concise, and fit for purpose because people are paying to be able to do something faster. So if your spreadsheet is not clear and it takes them more time to understand what they need to do, then they won't use it, they won't give you good testimonials, and then you won't be able to sell as many. Number two has to do with AI. And here I'm talking about creating custom GPTs. And before you freak out and think, oh, but I don't have any technical skills and I don't know how to code. Well, this is something that you can do even without having any coding skills. Let me explain. Because of OpenAI's ChatGPT marketplace, we now all have the possibility to build and sell custom GPTs. Now, 
If you're not familiar with what a custom GPT is, basically it is a model that is trained and designed to solve a specific problem. And that could be anything from a GPT that creates designs for or a faster social media turnaround. It could create product descriptions. It could be a guide or a coach on a specific topic. Or it could do market research. There are so, so many ideas out there that you can leverage to create an outstanding GPT that serves so many people. Because think about it, ChatGPT currently has over 100 million active users per day. So there's a huge market out there looking to leverage this type of custom GPTs. And creating a GPT is actually not that hard. All you need to do is leverage the GPT Builder option. And then you're literally chatting with GPT and explaining it how to solve a particular problem that you are more familiar with. You can do that just by chatting, or you can also upload specific documentation or additional information that will allow GPT to learn a lot more about that topic. Once you've done all of that information upload, then you need to test it with real-life scenarios and correct it wherever it doesn't have the right approach. And the more you test it, the better it will suit the purpose. And now you're probably thinking, okay, but how do I make money from this? Well, because OpenAI's marketplace has recently been launched, it allows you now to create a GPT and make it available publicly in this GPT store. And once somebody decides to use your GPT, then you'll have the option to share the revenue that you make on the licensing of your GPT with OpenAI. So it essentially works similar to how uploading an app onto the App Store works in case of iPhones. And now I want to take a moment and thank our sponsor for today's video, Shortform. Because if you're going to develop a GPT, no matter what the topic is, I recommend that you make sure you equip it with the best of the best information. And what better way to have access to lots of information at your fingertips, if not shortform? Shortform is, in my opinion, the best way that you can have access to incredibly valuable ideas across thousands of books that you don't need to spend the time and the money to read. So Shortform, if you don't know, is a service that creates incredibly powerful summaries of all of the most important books that you probably always wanted to go through and explore. They have so many incredible books across lots of genres, from motivation to business, from entrepreneurship to career and success, from money and finance to parenting, from psychology to entertainment. So lots and lots of choice. And I promise you, you will thank me if you consider short form. I've been using them for so many years. As I mentioned at the beginning, if you want to get access beyond the free trial, then you will have a 20% discount on the annual membership. The link is down below. Basically, it's shortform.com superhumans. Thank you again, Shortform. I'm very excited to be working with you. Let's get back to the video. The third suggestion that I have for you is related to something that you've probably done yourself. Tell me, how many times have you paid for different courses online because you thought they were a relevant investment? Well, this proves that, just like you and me, there are thousands of people out there who also be willing to pay for a course, not minding the cost, because online courses have quickly become one of the best methods for serving a niche audience and they give everybody an opportunity to teach anything that they know, going as deep into the content as their students need. And now you're probably thinking, can anybody have an online course? And the answer is yes. If you have a skill that you can pass on to others and can reach people who want to learn from you, then there's literally nothing stopping you from having an online course that other people can learn from. You simply have to create content that helps people go from A to Z, be in a better place when they're done with your course, and then all of the rest gets done a lot easier. So whether you're specialized in marketing, illustration, entrepreneurship, SEO, anything, you would be able to create an online course. And you can sell online courses in many various ways. And what I like the most about online courses is that they can be completely digital. You can pre-record everything and upload to a course platform and then forget about it. But before we talk about how to monetize a course, here is something that I believe you should have in mind while you're building your online course to ensure success. To get started, one way is to give some of it away for free. So you might consider starting and building an audience on a social media platform where you start educating people on your topic of choice. This is going to allow you not only to practice teaching that topic, but also get direct feedback from your audience and be able to build the following. Once you do that and people start trusting you, they will demand more from you. They will say, I want to learn more from this person. So starting that kind of social media presence is going to give you a great boost at the beginning. Now the skills you need to deliver a successful online class are quite diverse. Obviously you need some expertise in the subject that you're teaching, that is obvious. But more than that, you do need abilities to convey the message clearly. 
So you need to be able to present the information that you are going to teach your students in a clear, concise, and structured way so that they can follow and actually get results. And if you want to learn more about how you can present information or how you can create compelling presentations, then again, Shortform has you covered. There are lots of resources that you can learn from there. Now, once you've created your course, what you want to do is first look into platforms that are already specializing in selling online courses. That could be Udemy, that could be Skillshare, that could be Teachable. There are lots of places where you can do that. But I suggest you start with them because they already have the traffic, they have the demand, and you don't need to pay more to be able to put your course in front of the right students. So for example, here's a Udemy course on learning Pilates. It's something that I've started doing recently, so I thought it's an interesting example. And as simple as it sounds, there are so many similar courses going for more than $20. And you can get started doing that as well. From this course, you can see that this instructor already has about 177,000 students that have enrolled. So think about it. Doing the math tells you that you can be making hundreds or thousands of dollars per month selling courses on these kinds of platforms. And this continues to supply you with a passive income stream even in your sleep. And the best part is that you only have to create the course once. So if you're thinking, okay, but how do I get started? Well, number one, pick the niche. What do you love doing? What are you passionate about? And what do people ask you about most? That's the easiest way to choose. Number two, share your insights and your teachings for free at the beginning on any social media platform of your choice. I explained before why you want to do that. Once you've started building an audience, then set up an account on Skillshare, Udemy, or any of these platforms and upload your course. Keep engaging with your audience on social media and lead them to your course on the platform, and then start making money in your sleep. The next idea that I have for you is one that I've been thinking about a lot, but let's say the rules are slightly different in Switzerland, which is probably the reason why I've been delaying it so much. Now think about a store that makes you money without you being there to sell or without you having to attend to buyers. So if you're looking for a new business opportunity that you can do part-time or that doesn't require any special skills or any training and can even involve your whole family, then a vending machine business might be a really good fit for you. Because think about this. You're essentially having a retail shop that gives you the freedom to focus on anything else that you want to do with your time. Either another business, maybe you want to keep your job, or maybe you just want to enjoy the time with your family and friends. Vending machines are widely appealing because they require minimal investment to get started, are really low maintenance to operate, and can eventually generate nice passive income if you're able to ideally outsource the daily upkeep and the refreshing of inventory. Just before the pandemic, the vending machine industry in the U.S. had reached $8 billion, while the global market reached $24 billion. This means that there's a lot of money to be made here, and you too can get started. For example, this business owner on TikTok mentioned that he was able to make about $300 after just three weeks of starting his vending machine business. Because if you think about it, it is a business model that follows the same traditional retail business model of buying merchandise in bulk at wholesale prices and then selling it in small quantities to the end customer or consumer at retail prices. And the difference is the margin that you charge on the product. So one thing that you need to keep in mind is that you want to choose your location. I mean location, location, location. That is a very important aspect of whether your vending machine is going to be successful or not. And you want to also be mindful of the fact that some locations are going to ask for a revenue sharing model, so you will need to pay them 5, 10, 20% of your revenue in order for them to allow you to place your vending machine on their space, on their property. But you can definitely look at places like hospitals, gyms, factories, universities, schools, gas stations, college dorms. I think the most interesting one that I've ever seen was, and probably one of the most used ones, was a vending machine at a current rental place. Now obviously, when you get started, you want to place it somewhere where it's within reach for you to get there and restock your inventory. And maybe another thing to keep in mind is what kind of products you want to be selling in your vending machine. Because obviously, you can always sell snacks and drinks, but an option to consider is to sell something that is very much in trend, like healthy food, for example. Or at least in Europe, those are all the rage right now. Number five is another really, really interesting and high potential one. And this has to do with TikTok. And no, I'm not going to make you create a TikTok account where I'm going to suggest you start dancing. No, there is something else that's involved. TikTok has become this huge growth force in terms of social media, even though it was only launched a few years ago. 
And that's because of short form content, obviously, which is very, very successful with Gen Z, but also with other generations out there. So what does this mean for you? And how can you create a passive income stream? Well, what you want to think about is start a Shopify store that you connect with a TikTok account, and then you use TikTok to promote the products that you are selling in your Shopify store. And I've made a video about this a while back, but in a nutshell, what you want to do is find those TikTok trendy products. Because once somebody creates a huge trend with a product on TikTok, what you want to do is be able to create more content about that product and link to it in your Shopify store. This way, you will be able to sell so, so much. And I've seen so many success stories with this kind of setup. Obviously, a wide variety of print-on-demand companies on the market give you the option to just sell print-on-demand stuff. So think of totes and t-shirts and pillowcases and coffee mugs and stickers and notebooks and anything in between. You can obviously think about that. But what if you're not, let's say, a talented designer? Or if you don't really know what kind of designs sell? Well, you can always think about a very, very niche product, like a mega scrunchie or certain types of keychains or something that maybe you've seen other people be really raving about and that you think you can do better. Because TikTok makes it incredibly easy to create very, very valuable, highly viral content that will allow you to promote your Shopify store. Now, number six is one that is definitely accessible to anybody. Because if you have a garage or a basement, then you qualify for that. Imagine making hundreds of dollars every month just by renting out that space for storage. I mean, you could save up this money to get maybe a new home at some point. But even if you're thinking about a new home theater or some appliances or some new furniture, I think it's pretty cool, right? And I mean, the best part is that you don't have to do anything because the storage industry is projected to grow as much as $64 billion by 2026. In other words, this is not an income idea that is going away anytime soon. And you can store so many things from cars to boats to RVs, even business inventory. There's an endless list of ideas that you can think about here. And if you're wondering, okay, how do I get started? Well, remember I mentioned that you do not have to do anything, right? Well, from the comfort of your own home, you can connect with interested persons that are willing to rent your space and pay you for that. And you can use platforms like Neighbor, Peerspace, Store at My House. There are many places you can do that. And again, a really nice part about this is that when you use these platforms, you'll not have to deal with liability issues because they provide safe payment options. They provide contracts and storage provider and client information. So you are on the safe side. So rather than just locking up your garage, why not turn it into a cash machine? And again, let me just reiterate the fact that while it sounds easy, and I'm making it sound very easy, there are three things that you need to keep in mind in order to ensure your success. Number one, your garage or your storage space needs to be clean, dry, and safe. Number two, you need to do a background check on the people who are looking to rent your space. And number three, you need to understand the local laws and regulations surrounding storage rentals because in some places, you might be required to have a license or pay taxes on this income. So be mindful of that. So there you go. Six easy passive income streams that anybody can start today. And while none of these are going to make you rich overnight, all of them combined can definitely bring you a few hundreds or sometimes thousands of dollars per month if you do things right. So go ahead, try one or more of these passive income EDs and let me know how it goes. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what other passive income streams are you currently working on. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.